yeah, that's right. I'm doing Kagurabachi chapter reviews, bitch. What can I say? I believe the hype. This manga is like the new hot girl that transfers to your school. Everyone's going to talk about her. Yo, you see this new Kagurabachi chick? She looking kind of fine. Uh. Meanwhile, in the corner, My Hero Academia and Jujutsu Kaisen talking shit. I don't know why y'all talking about her. She not even that bad for real. What's wrong with y'all? That's what I'm saying. This bitch is regular. She's mad regular. Ooh, scar on your face. Bitch, I got a whole demon lord in my stomach. Like, shut the fuck up. I'm just saying, when a bad bitch is in your presence, you can either shoot your shot or or, or pass the ball because someone might be able to make the shot better than you because they've like practiced we can just get into the chapter now actually <laughs> after managing to survive sojo's attack chihiro body screams in pain <laughs> ah, 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 ah. why does he look like he's like <laughs> listening to really aggressive alternative music sojo is pretty shocked to see chihiro is still conscious but i guess he just didn't know He's built different. I swear to God, Chihiro is one more time skip away from fucking everybody's mom at this point. Sojo mocks Chihiro for the ideals he has about his father's weapons, and Chihiro responds by telling him he's his son. Wait, what'd he say? Yeah, that probably wasn't the smartest thing to say. Actually, that might have been the one thing you shouldn't have said if I'm thinking about it now. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why would you say that? Damn, this Chihiro guy can really swing a sword, but I think he's got Tourette's. Like, what the fuck? Chihiro suddenly gets his second win and just rushes Sojo. He said, oh, you want to talk about dads now? Okay, okay. <laughs> that nigga's not playing. He came at him quick. But Sojo uses Ketsu to attack, but Chihiro manages to avoid it. And this is one of the coldest moves I've ever seen in a fight before. Chihiro manages to get behind Sojo and go to attack him. And instead of doing the obvious, which is dodging or blocking the attack, this nigga Sojo stands his ground and is just like, <laughs> attacks from behind. <laughs> Who the fuck, nigga? You can't even summon the power to do that. No, who has the dexterity? <laughs> nigga, that's not possible. <laughs> that's cold as hell, though. I give him that, though. That's fire. <laughs> that shit. Doing that move, that's like the equivalent of, like, trying to do, like, reverse cowgirl in, like, porn. I don't know how the fuck they do that shit. It looks damn near impossible. Anyways, that's when they manage to dodge each other's attack, and that's when a car drives by that's affiliated with Sojo, and as you can see, there's a certain somebody's leg sticking right out the car look life can come at you fast right one minute you're fighting a guy who's got one of your father's prized possessions and next thing you know the little girl you're supposed to be protecting is getting kidnapped by grown men like jesus christ here's the point i'm trying to make though sometimes you can crank that soldier boy and other times that soldier boy will crank you respond accordingly and chihiro responds by sprinting full speed <laughs> out of the car going to go save char this nigga chihiro said Ha, ha, ha! Wait a minute, what the fuck? And Sojo tries to attack Chihiro, but his attack is blocked by one of the Kuma... Kamunabi. Holy shit, <laughs> that's a crazy word. Five of the Kabunabi pull up to whip some ass, and Sojo was honestly down to scrap, but after realizing that Azami and Shiba were there, he was like, I got 98 problems, I don't want to add those two to my list, okay? Shiba wants to help Chihiro, but before he can, Sojo triggers an explosion, causing just nothing but ruckus. <laughs> like, my god. Imagine trying to get some sleep in this city, like, bro. <laughs> like, these niggas are fighting with magical swords and shit, causing nukes around the corner. Like, who needs an alarm clock when you got a natural disaster right outside your window? Chihiro manages to catch up to the car and slices some guy's head off, but... Char wasn't actually in the car, it was just her decapitated leg. So then, Chihiro pulls the driver out of the car, holding his blade to his neck. First of all, fuck any magical sword in this show. If you had the ability to catch up to a speeding vehicle on foot and pull me out of that car, you have whatever you want. Nigga, what do you need? Information? Blood? Gas money? I will give you anything. The man says they were ordered to confuse Chihiro by using Char's leg as a decoy. That's when Shiba appears, catching Chihiro before he collapses. Sojo is now ready to resume his plan after getting Char back, and he probably wants to meet back up with Chihiro, now knowing that he's the son of Kunishigi. Wonder how you got that information, you fucking nutsack. <laughs> like the hell, bro? And that is the end of the chapter. Now, I thought it was pretty good i only have one small problem with this chapter why the fuck would fucking chihiro blurt out that he's the son of kunashigi this character is still pretty new so we don't really know much about him but like from everything we've seen so far he doesn't seem like the type to just say some shit like that right i don't know i didn't really get it like i don't know maybe he just wasn't like being himself for a second like i get it like sometimes you're not yourself right like one time i got so high i drove to a costco and forgot i drove and walked back home like i don't know how that relates but you know i said it 
the point is, I'm trying to like understand who Chihiro is as a character, and it's weird. It's weird. It's like it's like trying to get to know a step parent. Like I don't know who you are, but you're fucking my dad. So I hope we get along, or whatever. Anyways, I'll, I'll see you later. Mm-hmm.